lightness. It's one half of the performance equation. The other is power. This is the £180,000 Lamborghini Gallardo LP574 Superleggera. And in case you don't know already, Superleggera is the Italian for super light. The name comes from the fact the car weighs 70 kilos less than the standard Gallardo. This reduction has been achieved through various weight saving measures. For instance, the windows and engine cover are made from plastic rather than glass. While the sills, mirrors, rear wing and diffuser have all been formed from high quality carbon fibre. Of course, there's loads more carbon fibre inside too. For instance, the seat backs, the handbrake, the centre console, bit of the steering wheel here, and the doors are all made of this stuff as well. Now, Lamborghini have done away with normal door handles and replaced them with some Alcantara straps to save, I know, a couple of grams. Although, for good measure, they've got some carbon fibre on them too. So that's the lightness bit dealt with. Now for the power. Lamborghini has squeezed an extra 10 horses out of its 5.2 litre V10, so that in the Superleggera it now delivers 570 horsepower. The net result of all these changes is a power to weight ratio of 425 horsepower per ton. So, what exactly does that feel like? <laughs> Superleggera will rock it to 62 in just 3.4 seconds, and acceleration won't let up until long after your bottle is run out. Holy crap, we're doing 180. Oh, there's a big corner. Oh, brakes. If you're brave enough, though, 202 miles an hour is possible. And while this may be the same top speed as the standard Gallardo, the Superleggera is slightly sharper around a track thanks to its firmer suspension and competition tyres. But how would it fare against the king of the power-to-weight ratio, a superbike? This is an Aprilia RS V4 factory. Its 180 horsepower output may well be down on the Lamborghinis, but tipping the scales at just under 180 kilos means it has a power to weight ratio of 1,000 horsepower per ton, which is more than double that of the Superleggera. So, does this mean the bike runs rings around the car when it comes to having some high octane fun? Let's find out. <laughs> Obviously, both of these machines are massive fun, but while the Superleggera may not be able to do stoppies and admittedly cost 10 times as much, ultimately, it has a wow factor that the bike can't ever hope to match. And of course, you don't have to wear leather to drive it. <laughs> 